a YouTube. This small fixed blade is the Boker uh, Newton Martin uh, K-Bit knife. A uh, very small blade. The edge length is only one and one half inches. Uh, the steel on this is 440C. Uh, the price tag, it's around $30, $35. Now the weight on this is only 1.5 ounces. Uh, the thickness is uh, an eighth of an inch thick, so it is pretty sturdy for a small knife. All right, and you see the coating on it. Uh, that is a titanium coating. And as you can see, the, the handle, as it were, is just the ring. It's a skeletonized handle uh, with those two holes through it. The overall length of the whole, the whole knife is only four inches. So very compact, very handy. And as you can see, they're calling it a karambit. Uh, it doesn't really curve as much as most karambits. I would call it a hawk bill. This is the sheath that it comes with. It's an extremely lightweight molded kydex sheath with three eyelets and it comes with a beaded chain if you wanted to wear it as a, uh, a neck knife and you can see it snaps in uh, it holds it very securely very silently and obviously it's very easy to deploy because uh, the ring gives you, you know, gives you a lot of leverage so that is the sheath meant to be used as a neck knife you could also clip a uh, Put a key ring through any of the eyelets and put it on a keychain or clip it, just clip it to a, a carabiner on your belt. And you can see the thickness on this, it is very thick, and the whole thing will just fit in the palm of the hand. All right. And you see the texture all around, uh, deep, uh, large jimps, I guess you'd call those. It looks like gear work, you know, it looks like the inside of a uh, of a machine and I think that's intentional I think that's part of the styling it is chisel ground right? meaning see it is completely flat on the other side right? and because it's chisel ground and because it is so wide right the grind and the edge it's not it's not that sharp it's not razor sharp right however the strength of the tip could definitely, a lot of the use would be with the tip, right? So this could easily, you know, open a cardboard box, for example, just with the strength of the tip. Now there are three main ways to hold this that I've found. This is the first way uh, with your pointer finger in the ring and your thumb on the thumb ramp. Right, this gives you more reach. You see how it lays in your palm. Right, that is the first way I, you can hold it. You can also hold it with your middle finger in the ring, in which case your pointer finger is using this choil here and your thumb is still on the thumb ramp. And this gives you uh, an even more secure, firm grip on the blade. I've also found it useful to hold it like this. The ring is just sitting uh, in my palm and uh, my middle finger is braced against uh, the outside of the ring there, kind of using the choil. Right, my pointer finger is here, almost like a, almost like a scalpel grip, and you would use it much, much like a scalpel in this grip. So those are the three most useful ways to hold it that I have uh, found. All right, and here is a size comparison with a similar type of ultralight keychain or uh, neck chain knife. This is the CRKT Ringer 2 Hawkbill Skinner. And the Ringer 2, you see they are of around the same size. Uh, the Boker knife is a lot thicker. Right? And uh, the curve on the Ringer is, uh, you know, it's a lot more curved because it is, it was originally meant as a skinning knife. And that is useful for opening uh, things up. Uh, it is also a great utility knife, just opening packages and things like that. It weighs next to nothing, and I do carry it, um, I actually do carry that on my keychain uh, every day, and it has served me quite well. Uh, I would love to recommend it, but it's no longer available anymore. Uh, when it was made, it was only $8. It was a great bargain. Uh, I wish they would bring that back. Uh, but this Boker K-Bit... Um, 
One main reason I was interested in it is because I thought it might be uh, something that's currently in production that might be able to serve the same purpose as that ringer knife in terms of just a little fixed blade keychain utility. All right, and in general, I think it can. I think the, uh, the K-Bit knife uh, can pretty much do what I use uh, the other knife for. Uh, just light utility. Oh, it's a hands-free knife. You can hold other things while you have it. Um, it can open up boxes and uh, packages easily because of the strength of a draw cut combined with the forward tip. And Boker also, they do market the K-Bit as a last-ditch uh, defensive item. A lot of people like to have some sort of defensive item on their keychain. A lot of people will carry mini Kubatons on their keychain, uh, even mini pepper sprays. So uh, this K-Bit would fall into that category of little tiny defensive keychain items. All right, so, you know, that's what Boker says. Do I think it would work for that? Um, yeah, I mean, for a little blade, because of the curve of that tip, it would be a, a pretty nasty little little slashing machine. It's, you know, it's basically, imagine you had a, the claws of a cat, but the, uh, you know, it was an inch and a half long metal cat's claw. I mean, it's basically what it is. I mean, it is just a small little blade, but uh, n certainly nobody wants a small little blade like this just raking, raking across their face. It could get an eye. Um, so I understand what they're saying. It's more of a deterrent, you know. I mean, it's a one and a half inch blade. It's, it's not like a sword. Um, the ring allows you to deploy it very confidently and to hold it. It's very hard. It's very hard to wrestle something like this away from you, even if your attacker is a lot stronger, because it's just locked in there. And as they're trying to do that, you know, you don't. I mean, you can just intuitively um, just one rake across a a freaking hand. Uh, you know, I mean, it is what it is. It's not like super deadly. It's more of something like, well, it's better than nothing. Uh, still definitely not as nasty as this, as this basically raptor claw that I carry. But uh, if you can't find one of these, yeah, I, I can understand how they would say, you know, it could be useful in that situation. Alright, so my overall opinion on the K-Bit, pretty useful. I, I believe it could be used uh, as advertised as a small fixed blade utility and a and, uh, very last-ditch little blade. Uh, and the price is pretty reasonable, $35. It is well made, it is thick and heavy duty. Uh, the finish looks pretty nice, it's better than a painted on finish. And mainly, the small size, the light weight, and uh, the ease of deployment and retention, the security of uh, that ring handle, yeah, it, it works as a blade. Uh, so I would recommend it. And at this length, um, it's pretty much legal most places that I know of. So overall, I would give it a B or a B plus. It's a pretty nice knife. Hope you enjoyed getting a closer look at it. Stay tuned for many more videos. I'm out of here.